Hi everyone, I'm back in my room again. I came by real quick because I want to get some bookcases built. I know that I took out two of them, or you should, if you remember from the previous one, you probably remember I took them out. Um, they're actually still in the hallway, which I thought they were gonna get out, but anyways, I am building my own, and those ones I got out because they were too tall, and I don't really like really tall ones, especially in a corner, because there's like empty space between them. Um, so I actually have my own, and they are wooden ones. They're shorter than the tall ones, but taller than the short ones. I wanna say they're like four shelf ones, so these are them I just have to put them together so I am going to put one right here and then possibly another one right here or I'm gonna put the other one over there and then have one of those little black ones over here and one over there and then I'm just gonna figure out what to do with the file cabinet because I do have to figure out what to do with that and where to put that there's a chance I may just leave it here but we'll see um, but one of these will stay and then one will go over there probably, but we'll see. I actually have two more of those that I might bring in and build as well. So I'll have two big wooden ones over there and two over here. And then one of these little black ones will kind of be pushed underneath. I actually, I wonder if it'll fit underneath here because at my previous classroom and the classroom before that, all the schools I've been at except for this one, these bookcases have fit under the whiteboard. But they don't fit under the whiteboard in this classroom. This whiteboard's a little bit lower, which is actually really nice because I don't have to be on my tippy toes to reach the top of it. Like if I write up at the top, I'm usually on my tippy toes, but I don't have to be for this one, which is really nice. But since the bookcases don't fit under that, I just put them back here. So I'm wondering if they would fit under here. So I'm actually gonna check real quick. Not quite, so it's really close but it's not quite fitting underneath. So there's this little gap behind, which I don't think would really be an issue at all if I just push these over and then have them kind of stand up. It's a little bit wobbly, but I think that actually is kind of nice. So maybe, yeah, so the reason I'm the reason I'm talking to you about this is because like I said I have two of those which are bigger they could go over there and then I could just have these ones in here and then I'll have two of the bigger ones over here and that one pushed over as well but I actually have a lot of the white ones of these black so these little black ones right here I actually think I have like four white ones as well so if I have four white ones and then two of the black ones it could end up covering the whole space underneath this board, which I may actually like how it looks. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, just because there's not a lot of room. So when kids are sitting here, their chairs are gonna be pulled out. So that's about the space that you need to sit. Um, so really there's not gonna be much walkway here. So if I were to put books back there, they would literally be up against these kids' backs trying to look for books and stuff. So I don't know. It's just a very small room that, uh, that I'm used to. So I'm kind of just figuring everything out still, but I'm really excited. I honestly am so excited to be here. I'm like so grateful and just so excited. I honestly like, I've, I could say so much. I'm just so excited. Okay, so the goal for today is going to be to put together at least one of the bookcases, preferably two, but honestly, it's really hard for me, especially by myself, um, but I'm going to at least try and figure out one of them, and then hopefully it won't be too hard. I'm looking for my other screwdriver, and I don't know what I did with it. I have my Phillips head, but I don't know where the flat... Oh, got it. Okay, so... I need some scissors to cut through the box. And I'm gonna try and do it all by myself, like I said. But these ones are bigger, so they're heavy. And I had my dad like drop them off, but he didn't have time to help me put them together. There we are. So, hopefully I won't need to move them very far. That's why they're in that corner, because that's where I was gonna build them. But. Let's go ahead and build some bookcases. Let me go, go. 
what it looks like so it is taller than the other one I can't really show you uh, but it came with this extra piece to bolt it to the wall I don't know if we have to since it's still kind of short but I'm gonna keep it there just in case but this is what it looks like so nice so I have one more to do but honestly it's 3 30 right now that means I've been here Two and a half hours to do a bookcase. <laughs> two and a half hours to do a bookcase. It takes so long. Um, I don't know if I want to do the other one right now, to be honest. But I'm I'm gonna put the books into this one. So remember, I got the other ones out. So these are all the books that were in it. So I'm gonna just start putting these in that bookcase. So at least they're off the desk. Actually, no, I shouldn't do that in case I want to move the bookcases. Oi. Alright, so I put the black one next to it, so you can kind of see how the size is different, and then the other ones were like, I don't know, this high? <laughs> so it is shorter, but it's bigger, so I like that. I figure I'm just going to go ahead and put the other one together and just get it over with, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to push it over there when I'm done too, but let's put it together. Let me go, go, let me go, go, let me go. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on, to hold on when I'm not there for you? Wanna take a different lane, wanna play my own game, and I don't need you here. So won't you let me go? Wanna take this ball and chain that you have put on me and throw it out the window? I think that you should let go. Cause you know this is not meant to be Let go Maybe I should have known That you are not the right one for me Let go Don't call 
on me I don't wanna talk to you I'm better off not talking to you Okay, so I liked the wooden ones so much that I'm actually going to get this one out of here. The two taller black ones are still in the hallway, so I'm going to take all this stuff down and get this black one out so that I can have the space freed up for another brown one there, the wooden one. Let me go, go, let me go, go, let me go. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on, to hold on when I'm not there for you? Wanna take a different lane, wanna play my own game, and I don't need you here. So won't you let me go? Wanna take this ball and chain that you have put on me and throw it out the window? Well, what's your name again? Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> yeah. Amanda, there's there's a teacher right here that remember you asked me for a long table. Yeah. You want to come and see it? So yeah. See if you want it. Yeah. She doesn't want to hear you. And that would be it. Hi everyone. So yesterday I didn't get very much time to really do very much. So I put together one of the bookcases over there. You can see right there. And then I put together the second one but not all the way I didn't get to finish it um, I'm gonna show you sorry the lights are off so I'll turn them on in a sec but this is the other one it's almost done I just need to put the shelves in and then it's finished but I was kind of like I had to stop because the custodian came in and he asked like is there no trash and I said no there's none um, I just got here so I don't think I'm gonna have much because I'm just doing the bookcase um, but he came in like five minutes later after saying bye and have a good day and he said that you know it, did I still want a skinny long table and I said yeah do you know where one is and he said well there's a teacher actually who's here who's right down the hall and I think it'd be a good opportunity for you to meet her and um, she's trying to get rid of a long skinny table and I was like what that's perfect so I went over there and I met her and she's so sweet um, her room has carpet which I'm a little bit jealous of I'm jealous of all the teachers who have carpet because I feel like as a female teacher we tend to wear like heels and booties and like um, I don't know just little heels and stuff um, so it's nicer when you have carpet because then you're not like I don't know clacking around the classroom <laughs> with your heels but um, I'm sorry it's a new day by the way there are kids outside in the halls registering for their, their classes and I guess for the school and everything but when I went over to meet her um, she had this long table and it was perfect it's it's a little bit different than my other school because there's like different colors on it or designs let me turn the light on so I'll show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like. It's similar to the one at my other school, but this has like a different design on it. It's more neutral. The other one was just gray. Um, this is all my stuff. I <laughs> don't mind that. But while I was there, she was also getting rid of this cabinet. So I grabbed that too. So now I have a cabinet. It's not too tall, which is kind of nice. I could put stuff on it and still reach. This is what it looks like inside. And there are four different drawers. There's some shelves here. And although it is smaller than the one at my other school, I wonder if this actually can come, oh, you have to open it all the way. Um, although it's smaller than the one at my other school, I feel like it holds a lot more. Like it's shorter, but like it's, it's deeper for sure. But yeah, I'm so excited I got a cabinet and I don't really know what you would put here. I don't, I don't really understand this. So if you know what this is for, let me know. I'm assuming like for posters, but they don't really stand up straight. <laughs> you know, they'd like slump over and get bent. I don't know what this is, but if you know what this is for, let me know. But yeah, I got a cabinet and it's this nice neutral color. Only problem is I don't think it comes with a key. I have to ask her about that. See if she has a key for it because that would be perfect if it locks. And then I might actually be able to return one of these. I got these from Ikea. And if you don't know, you can return built furniture to Ikea without having to take it apart. So I might return one of these since I have this one. I just have to figure out where to put this because I was going to put one of the tall wooden bookshelves over here so I could stack my printer and stuff on it. But now I'm thinking maybe I want this over there. So I don't really know. But I for sure want this long table 
to go up against that wall and then my desk will be like kind of attached to it so I can hide my refrigerator under here but nobody will know because it's in that hidden corner um, but anyways yeah, I got a cabinet and I got a long table and I'm so excited. But outside of her classroom was also some things that she was throwing away. And I asked if I could have them and it's this. So I got another paper organizer. And it's a little beat up, it's a little dirty, but I can just put my contact paper on top and it'll look beautiful. And then I have to get some little nails to nail this back in. Because it's like loose and coming off. But yeah how exciting so i got one of these for free um i was hoping to get one of these because i have one already which is mine over there this is like our my bin so the things i need to grade will go on this side things that i have already graded and go back go on that side and that's all there really is but i wanted one for all our construction paper and contact paper and stuff not contact paper um cardstock construction paper and cardstock i wanted one so all the students can kind of grab what they need but I didn't want to buy one because honestly they're pretty expensive. They're like $100 at least. So she was throwing this away and I was like, that's freaking perfect. I will take it, please. So I have that now. But yeah, it was like it was like Christmas. So I just went over there and he like introduced me to the teacher. And it's so cool. He's like taking care of me because I'm a new teacher. And um, I got to meet her and she was like so thrilled that I was like willing to take the things off her hands because it saves her from having to get rid of them like herself. Um, I don't know if you know, but <laughs> this is like, it's been at least a week and the bookcases are still in the hallway and they were going to get rid of them because they're doing registration now. That's why all the students are here. Uh, I don't know if you could hear them. It's kind of loud in the hallways. Um, but they were going to get rid of them for registration, but the main custodian who's in charge of like furniture and that whole like. I don't know, I feel like there's like a storage facility on campus, I don't know, but he's actually on vacation, so he's not here, so it's just kind of staying there. Um, so yeah, it was like Christmas and I was so excited. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish putting together that last bookcase, the wooden one. So I'm just gonna put the shelves on it to match up with this one, and I'm gonna tell you guys, this was like the most difficult thing to line up the shelves because I'm not the best at math. But I'm not the worst at math, like basic math, fine, you know, I'm, I'm okay. But I felt like I was so dumb. <laughs> I felt like I was so dumb. So here's the thing. There's like four inches here, right? And then there's 30 holes. And I was like, cool, three shelves divided by 30. You'll put one on the first and then whatever, right? You, it'd be easy, one, every, one shelf for every 10 holes. However, if you put one on the first one, that's right here. <laughs> I'm like, how do I, I don't understand, how do I divide 30 to put three shelves in to where they're equal? And it was so hard for me to figure out. So what I did was I just kind of was like winging it, especially with the four inches at the bottom and the four at the top. I didn't know how to make it even. So I could go back and change it. This one's a little bit longer than the rest, but I don't have the patience. <laughs> I just don't have the patience. And um, I don't know, I just felt so dumb. I'm like, how do I not know this? This is this should be like simple math. I don't I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. So I gave up and I just tried to wing it and it came out pretty well. But the like I said, the bottom one is a little bit taller, I guess. There's more room at the bottom one, but I think that's actually gonna be good because in my class we're gonna have SSR, which if you don't know is like sustained silent reading. So I'm thinking every Friday. I'm going to be calling kids up for like one-on-one -on -one, um, meetings, I guess, with the teacher to go over their grades and their work and stuff and their progress. And then while I'm doing that, students are going to be silently reading. So from a continuation school, I know that kids don't like to read. I myself in high school didn't like to read. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have book reports. So every time they complete a book, they're gonna have a book report and they have to complete, I think it was like five or six books per year outside of what we're reading in class and that's not something that I'm doing that's not like my rule or anything I think that's like what the school does which I think is really cool um, but I know that coming from a continuation school and being a not so interested reader myself when I was in high school some kids just won't read they just won't and you can try and you can try and you can try to encourage them motivate them and uh, reward them I guess but in the end some kids just won't and so for those kids, they are going to have more options. So instead of having to do like 
chapter books and long novels and stuff i'm gonna have some fun books in there too and i have like some guinness book of world records and like some picture books and stuff and i am putting those because i remember i was a very reluctant reader and i loved the guinness book of world records i loved the ripley's believe it or not books i thought those were like the coolest things in the world so i actually have some and I'm gonna be bringing those in and putting those at the bottom of the shelves. And since there's more room, if you don't know, those are like taller books, they should fit in here and it should work. If not, I'm gonna have to move these up and it'll just get so confusing. <laughs> but, but seriously though, I felt so dumb because I couldn't equal these out. But yeah, so I'm just gonna put the shelves into this one and then I also have to figure out what I'm doing with all the furniture because since I have this cabinet, I kind of would like it close to me just because I want to have like supplies in it that I can easily access but at the same time, I know this sounds crazy, but when I look back here, I want it to be symmetrical. <laughs> so I'm thinking of taking this and putting it behind my desk with the cabinet and then I'll have one book, wooden bookcase one wooden bookcase and then one black bookcase one black bookcase i actually have two more of those wooden bookcases too but i don't know if i'm going to need them they're in my garage at home but worst case because i really want one behind my desk so i can have my printer there but if i have the long table i should be fine so worst case i would just put this up against the wall over there and see what happens but yeah so that's that's where I am so far. One thing I do want to say though is when I went into her classroom, not only didn't I notice that she had carpets, but she had a lot less desks, a lot fewer desks. And I have 39 desks in my room technically. If you count this one, that's 40. But this one doesn't have a chair and I'm actually going to be using it for the turn-in bin. <laughs> so I'll just keep it at 39 desks. Um... She didn't have that many. She had maybe 25 to 30, which I know was the like rule for how many students you're supposed to have for summer school. But hers were spaced out. Hers were not all connected. They were spaced out like that three feet apart. And I was thinking like, I hope that's what we get. Like I hope we have less kids, but at the same time I know that we're not. Simply because um, I, don't know how I found it but I went on to our Aries and I found like our class numbers and the maximum we're supposed to have is 40 per class and I already have some classes that are 40 so I'm gonna need another desk and I'm gonna need another chair and this is just gonna be this is it like I cannot move them any other way to make them fit and make sure that we're able to walk um, I know some people had um, suggested doing like the horseshoe thing and I would love that however if I did do the horseshoe thing, it would be a filled horseshoe. <laughs> so I would do one horseshoe in the back. I can't push it back anymore because then we can't walk in the back. And then I just have these ones straight and then, you know, that's it. The only difference is I'm changing these ones, that ones on the end, I'm changing their directions. That's the only thing that's going to be different because there's so many desks. You can't fit them. It would be literally one big horseshoe and then rows between. It just wouldn't work. The only other thing I can think of is having the desks this way, so like in groups, which I had in my previous classroom, but I, I can't remember, I think it was like groups of eight. So you'd have like one group of eight and the, they're like facing each other, right? So some are facing this way, some are facing this way. Can't do that. <laughs> so I would have these ones, these ones, these ones, and these ones, but honestly, I still don't even think that will fit because I feel like I'm going to need five rows. Five groups, I guess. Five groups of eight. Right? Four and four. Yeah, five groups of eight. And I don't even think that will fit. So this is like really a struggle and I feel like this is the only way I can set up the desks to actually make them all fit and make sure we're able to move. Um, reason... I don't want to put kids up against the wall with the desks and have that middle gap is because I want to be able to access the boards, the bulletin boards. So when I put student work on them and stuff, changing things around, I want to be able to access them. And one of them, probably this one, is going to be our student numbers. So students are going to be coming over this way all the time to see what their number is. 
um, in case they forget and stuff. And then the other one I believe is gonna have our student grades, like our progress grades. Um, they're gonna be organized by student ID number. So you can't tell who's who for the grades. Um, but they're gonna be coming over here all the time. So I need to make sure that they're able to access the boards and see that too. I really wish these were over here. And <laughs> I wish this was not here because then it would be super easy. They could just come in here and then walk, you know, but I don't think that's a possibility. So anyways, that's where I am today. I am going to get some things ready and start putting some stuff together. I'm actually expecting some teachers today who are gonna come by and talk to me about some work. So yeah. That's where I am. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on, to hold on, when I'm not there for you? Wanna take a different lane, wanna play my own game, and I don't need